never know how to start these things. Hey, hello, good day. Hey, my name's Gav from GK Videography and for the past 12 years, I've been a Final Cut Pro editor. Now you probably clicked on this video because you've just bought Final Cut Pro and you've opened the software and you're a bit confused by the layout. So grab yourself a coffee, we'll get on the computer and I'll show you around. Captain obvious here, you want to go down and open Final Cut Pro 10. I have mine saved to the dock. So we double click on that. Now when yours opens, it obviously won't have a project already in here. I've done this just for the purposes of better explaining what each panel within the user interface does. Um, so first off, we'll start in the sidebar. Now in the sidebar here, we'll have our libraries, projects and events. I'll get into that in uh, another video, but this is essentially where the folders for each job will be uh, listed. And as we can see, we've got the user interface walk around and the folder that contains those files. And then this window is the browser. Literally, it does what it says on the tin. This is where you browse your video files, your music and any graphics that you've imported. As you scrub through this with a mouse, it appears in what we call the viewer window. Now, if you're moving your mouse through the thumbnails and you're not seeing anything in the viewer window, or at least seeing those video files play with your mouse scrubbing, you wanna make sure that you have scrubbing switched on, which is mid-right on this side of the screen. It needs to be in blue. If it doesn't, if you're scrolling through and you're not seeing anything like this, having to click but they've got you're not getting the files play back then you need to make sure this scrubbing button is switched on and it'll be blue when activated now this is our viewing panel or viewing window here we'll be able to watch back the video files that we've imported by scrubbing through or hitting space and letting them play through this viewing window is multi-purpose so not only can we view through uh, video files in the browser it is also for playing back our edit now this area here is known by many as a timeline, but technically Final Cut Pro X names it a project. Now some people might know as a sequence as well, but this is essentially where the edit will be laid out. And we can play through the edit by hitting space bar and watching that in the viewing window as well. So not only the viewing window is for browsing the files, it's also for watching back our edits. Now over to the right side here, we have the inspector. Now the inspector is where we alter the parameters of video, color and audio and you can skip through those on these tabs at the top here so we've got the, the film file is for video the triangle is for color and the little speaker obviously is for audio now i won't go into the ins and outs of this yet but that is where we will um, alter the sound levels color and you know position scales of, of video clips as we're going through the edit now another window that may be activated when you open Final Cut Pro for the first time is the effects window and transitions. Now those can be activated here, this is a toggle on and off. The two squares together is the effects panel and this is the transitions. So therefore you have all the transitions listed within this tab here. You can't activate them both at the same time and then your effects are in here. So you can see the difference in clicking those. Or if you just want to hide them all together, you can just click that off. Okay, just to run over that quickly again, we've got the sidebar here where we'll house our library, project and events. We've then got the browser where we'll view the imported files that we've brought in. We've got the viewer where we'll view those files as we scrub through them. And also the viewer is a place to view back our edit which we have in the timeline. And as I mentioned before, this is also known the project or a sequence, it depends who you talk to. But in Final Cut Pro 10 turns, this is called the project. And then to the right of the viewer, we have the inspector. The inspector is where we change the parameters of the video, the color and the audio. And then at the bottom, as I said earlier as well, we've got the access to the effects and the transitions that we'll add to our edit. 
So hopefully you found that valuable. This is the first video in the Coffee and Create series where I'll be sharing tips, tricks and tutorials in Final Cut Pro 10. So if you have any questions on this video or you have a particular request for future content, then be sure to drop them in the comments below. And as ever, like, comment and subscribe. Cheers. I hate that like, comment, subscribe thing, but apparently you gotta do it. So yeah, and if you don't like it, you can just always give it a thumbs down if you're that type of person.